Hey everyone, today I found out something really interesting, which I would like to share with you guys. So whenever I go on a ketogenic diet, my fasting blood glucose levels drop, which is not very surprising, right? So usually my fasting blood glucose is at 86, 87 milligrams per deciliter when I'm eating a normal moderate carbohydrate diet. However, when I go on a ketogenic diet, it goes down to like 75, 76 milligrams per deciliter. So already pretty low. So now I'm doing a ketogenic diet for 10 days. And yesterday morning, I measured my blood glucose levels and it was at 75 milligrams per deciliter. So then the last night I had my sheet day and ate a lot of carbohydrates. So we went out and had Asian all you can eat. And I honestly went all out, I was stuffed. So then this morning, out of curiosity, I decided to measure again my blood glucose levels. I kind of would have expected that they go high. However, what I found was that my blood glucose was at 70 milligrams per deciliter, the lowest I've ever measured. That's very interesting. So now my thinking behind it is that probably yesterday all the carbohydrates induced such an insulin response in my body that all my cells and all my muscles, which have been deprived of glycogen, are now like uh, greedy for the glucose in my blood and now finally can take it up with the excess of insulin. And therefore my blood glucose levels are right now so low. So this also means that what I think is that the ketogenic diet definitely makes me more insulin sensitive. I know there's a lot of controversy out in the literature. Some people saying a ketogenic diet makes you insulin resistant and the others say ketogenic diet makes you more insulin sensitive. It might depend on the person, but it looks like I'm the person who becomes more insulin sensitive when e eating ketogenic or low carb. I will definitely measure it again tomorrow and the day after while I'm slowly going into ketosis again and we will see what we get. I'm curious. All right, today is day two after my sheet day. And now I'm really curious whether my blood glucose levels went further down or up. I would predict they go up again, because this is what I always see when I change from a moderate carbohydrate diet to a ketogenic diet. Because I think that my body then liberates the glucose without putting out much insulin. But we will see. So let's check that. Yes. Yep, yeah, goes up again. That's not surprising. Uh, tomorrow I will measure again. We will see in what direction it goes. And until tomorrow, I will also pull out some literature, some scientific literature, and we can talk about this in more detail. Okay, I also decided to measure my blood ketone levels to see if I'm already back in ketosis. So yesterday I ate less than 50 grams of carbohydrates and more than 70% of my calories came from fat. So technically a ketogenic diet. But let's see how long it actually takes after such a sheet meal to go back into ketosis. So... A few moments later... All right, I'm already slightly ketogenic. So that was first. And then we will see tomorrow again. Okay, day three after the sheet meal. Let's see if three days being in ketosis again was enough to bring down my glucose or whether my body is still releasing more glucose into my bloodstream. So we're gonna measure. A few moments later. Let's see. 72 again. Okay, that was really fast. So to put it in some context, the uh, yesterday I was eating again just 35 grams of carbs throughout the whole day. So very low, very ketogenic. Um, we have seen now that the ketogenic diet definitely drops my blood glucose levels, which is a good thing, which I would have predicted anyways. But we have also seen that the sheet meal can be very powerful to even drop your glucose levels further. But another thing I always see, and I want to give it also as an advice, is that 
um, when you first go into keto, in a, into ketosis, your blood glucose might rise, might rise a little bit. Uh, probably just due to the fact that your body is breaking down the glycogen, releasing the glycogen into the bloodstream, but not putting out much insulin. And therefore your glucose might be high for, let's say, one, two days before you see an improvement, which can be really important. It's, it's important knowledge, especially for people who are pre-diabetic or diabetic. Which brings me to the next point. I want to talk for one minute, really brief, about the science. So we know, or actually we don't know, we, there's a lot of controversy out there whether a ketogenic diet is not good or bad for type 2 diabetics, is it good or bad for controlling blood sugar levels. So I'm not sure if you can see very well on the screen. If not, I will put it, uh, put it up somehow in the video. But usually papers show us that a keto or low carb uh, diet is good for the treatment of two di two type 2 diabetes. And also this study here found that um, when, how many people, when, when, um, 20 participants went on a ketogenic diet, they found that um, seven participants uh, could stop with their insulin medication or uh, diabetic medication, uh, 10 of them could reduce it, and for uh, three participants, there was no change. So there's already quite a variability. However, the media also likes to present the other side of things, which is like I found this headline in the medical news today, so not even a bad newspaper, I would say, saying that keto diet, diet scientists find link to diabetes risk. And they do a good job, they cite studies and show that um, a ketogenic diet, I think that's this study, that a ketogenic diet um, decreases the uh, insulin sensitivity, at least in mice. Let's, let's disregard for a moment that mice are not humans and think about it for a second. So what they found was that when mice what uh, fat a ketogenic diet and then we're fed um, high amounts of glucose again like a normal diet so to say um, they showed that the mice are less insulin responsive so they have higher glucose levels after eating so and that's where the controversy comes in um, this can go in both direction as we have seen in the one paper showing that the ketogenic diet is very successful for some people to treat diabetes, less successful for others. I also found for myself, it's very helpful to put my glucose down when I'm on ketosis, but apparently it's also very powerful um, for me to desensitize, desensitize my uh, cells to, for insulin. And so after the sheet meal, I was the lowest Ever I've measured for my glucose levels. So my cells have become very sensitive to insulin. And I also know from other people who like work intensively in this field, like Dr. Peter Atia talks in a podcast about this, how a ketogenic diet made him the most insulin sensitive person um, ever. He he went and got that checked um, on in a lab and it was just crazy. I will put the pit uh, Put the link of the podcast in the description. You can check it out yourself. Okay, to round this up. So a ketogenic diet will help you to regulate your blood sugar. Pretty convinced of this. However, what is a possibility is that um, some cells in your body, like basically all cells except your brain cells, might even become a little bit less insulin sensitive so it's slightly insulin resistant and this is the reason behind this is that the available glucose in your blood should be spared for your brain your brain can very can run very well on glucose uh, on ketones but it needs a very small percentage of glucose to run so <clears throat> even when subjects are in a very deep ketosis even when uh, people fast for prolonged times the brain still relies on like 20 to 30 percent on glucose. Glucose your body can produce yourself. You don't have to eat it. Your body can produce it via, <clears throat> via gluconeogenesis. 
But this means that potentially and temporarily, some other cells in your body become less sensitive to insulin because they want to kind of spare the available glucose for your blood. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Um, I will now go and measure also my ketone levels to see whether I'm actually in ketosis. Um, Cause I don't know, I honestly ate quite a bit of protein yesterday cause we had a barbecue. And yeah, with this last keto measurement, um, I think I will end this video. And I think it's also a really interesting experiment to see how my glucose first goes down after eating a moderate carbohydrate for a while. Um, and then goes even further down after a sheet meal and then goes up again as I always see. And now it's pretty low again. So 72 is, is really low. Okay, we're gonna measure the uh, ketones and be back in a second. A few moments later. 0.7, pretty much like yesterday. So I guess that's right now my state of being in ketosis. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing if you think those things are interesting. Let me know if you have any questions or comments to what I'm doing. And yeah, hopefully see you next time.